All right, so here's a video on how to install these key locks um, for mounting a newel post. I already got the uh, new post marked up where I wanted it. Uh, marked the center lines for it. So then uh, after you get that done, um, you can center this you know, right over the X, wherever your center mark is. Um, I'm going to be using chisels. Uh, I've done it with routers. Um, I tend to think this is a little bit faster way to do it and more precise. Um, I countersink them um, to the depth of the plate with some mortise bits. Um, I, I just feel like it's a faster and neater way to do it. Uh, it creates less of a mess. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. Hopefully it's a good video angle. So I'll get this opened up. So I like to put these, um, so you know, on the bottom of the post, you're gonna have the bolt and when you slide it, it's gonna go that way. So I prefer that because there's gonna be a railing on this way. So it won't be able to loosen up on you. So let's get the center here. Okay, so we're at the center that way. There, and just drill some holes for the, where the screws will go. So then you you know you're still center once you chisel it out and go to mount it. After you do that, you go ahead and mark the plate so we know where to chisel. All right. So make sure your chisels are extra sharp. Um, I sharpen mine between every use, you know, just a diamond sharpener. And I go ahead and chisel the edges. So once you get that perimeter chiseled out, go ahead and make the mortise bits. And I, you know, this is probably a half inch thick here. And I go until it's flushed out because that plate is you know, about half inch also. So once that's done, I'm going to just roll it with the big one. Get as much wood out of there, so you have to do less chiseling later. And get that about level with the ones you already did. Go back over it, you know, with your big chisel. Go across the sharpener quick. See, it's a lot easier to do it this way. Get those out in big chunks. And you could do the whole thing with the chisel, it's just gonna take a lot longer.
you know, then you just go over, flatten it out a little bit so it's not you know, rocking on a high point. But you, you have to have, you know, sharp chisels for this, otherwise it's gonna not work out very nice. And I'm kind of at a bad angle here with, with this, but... See if she flushes out. So this side's pretty flush. Uh, I gotta take some more off the back here. So I mean, you can see it's pretty high right here. Try to get some stuff out of the way. You want it to be below the the face of the wood, whereas your new post will be above, and you'll see a gap. Just take another about an eighth inch off here. Not too much. All you gotta do now is just put your screws in and you wanna make sure there is backing on the sump floor, uh, two by six or something, that this can screw into. Otherwise your new post uh, will be wobbly and you, you don't want that. And now what's left, you have marked out the center, you know, of the new post. So, you know, draw a line from end to corner to corner and that's your center. And drill it out with like a quarter inch then you can run your wagon into it and you're going to have about that much sticking out. You just set it on there and tap it over with a rubber mallet until it's tight. Um, you're going to have to do some adjusting with this screw to get the proper height. Because you want it to stop before it hits your line, you know, where it's centered. You don't want it to go over here and be off. Uh, it just wouldn't look good. So hopefully this helped you out. Um, like I said, you can do this with a router, but it's just really messy, and I feel like it takes longer because you have to go, you know, eighth inch at a time, otherwise you can break your router bit. Um, yeah, good luck.